Hello friends. Welcome to my new design pattern tutorial series video. Today, I will teach you, how to implement template method design pattern in Java. Friends. The template method design pattern is a behavioral design pattern. It defines the steps of an algorithm, and allows subclasses to provide implementation for one or more steps. The steps of algorithm are generally methods that are executed in a sequence. Some are implemented by abstract parent class and some are implemented by concrete subclasses. Let's see tutorial overview through a class diagram. Friends. Here, file processor is an abstract Java class. It has a method by name, process file. This method is our template method. It will demonstrate how template method design pattern works. This method is marked as final. So that no subclasses can override it. In order to process a particular type of file, we have to follow few steps such as open a file, write to a file, read a file. Save a file. Finally, close the file. All these methods should be performed in steps. Thus process file method calls each method in steps. As reading and writing of a word file is different from PDF file. Therefore these methods are marked as abstract. These methods are implemented based on the type of file. Both subclasses Word File Processor and PDF File Processor extends File Processor class. They provide their own specific implementation for reading and writing of file. Let's see this working through Java code. Start NetBeans IDE. In Design Pattern Tutorial Java Project. Let's create a Java class. Provide a name to it as file processor keep it in a package as com dot hubber spot dot design pattern dot behavioral dot template click finish it creates a class by name file processor in the file processor class let's create a template method by name process file This method will act as our template, that all subclasses will follow. Steps would be to Open a file Read a file or Write to a file Save a file, if something is written to a file. Finally, close the file. Let's denote each step a separate method. Such as, open file, for opening a file. Write file, for writing to a file. Read file, for reading a file. Save file, for saving a file. Close file, for closing the file. It's a conditional template. If user just want to read a file, then writing to a file and saving its contents is not needed. Similarly, user wants to write to a file, then reading its contents is not needed. Let's provide implementation to each method. For open file method, I will print opening a file on Java console. 
for close file method. I will print closing the file on Java console. Write file, read file, save file are conditional steps. That is, either user wants to write a file or read a file. If user writes to a file, he would want to save as well. For this conditional processing, let's create a boolean variable as write to file with initial value as false. If value is true, it provides information that user wants to write to a file. If value is false, it provides information that user wants to read a file. Let's provide a if clause as The boolean condition, in the if statement will be write to file, holding value returned from user wants to write method. Let's create a method, by name as, user wants to write. It will return a boolean value. In this method, we will ask user whether he wants to read or write a file. Using scanner class in Java, we will take user inputs from system.in, that represents Java console. We will prompt to user, would you like to write to file? Using next line method, we will store the input in answer variable. Finally, we will check if user enters Y, then return true. Else, return false. This value will be stored in write to file variable, which will be used later. Now, if write to file is true, then execute write file method. Else, execute read file method. Also, if user wants to write to a file, then there must be an option to save a file. Hence, we provide yet another condition that if want to write variable has a value true, which we discussed before, then save file method should get executed. Let's provide implementation to save file method. I will just print, saving the file on Java console. Now as per template method design pattern definition. It defines the steps of an algorithm and allows subclasses to provide implementation for one or more steps. Here, one or more steps, is the method such as write file and read file. We have to provide implementation of these methods in concrete subclasses such as word file processor and PDF file processor. This is also because writing and reading a word file is different from PDF file. Therefore, we will mark both these methods as 
abstract in file processor class. This will allow subclasses to provide their own specific implementations to them. We will also mark file processor class as abstract because it has two abstract methods. As our process file method is a template method, we don't want our subclasses to override it. Therefore, we will mark this method as final. Let's move ahead and create two concrete subclasses of file processor. Let's move ahead and create a new Java class. Provide a name to it as Word File Processor. Keep it in same package and click Finish. Make it extends File Processor. Let's implement all its abstract method. For write file, I will print writing to a Word file, just to distinguish it from other files. Similarly, implement red file method. Let's move ahead and create a new Java class. Provide a name to it as PDF file processor. Keep it in same package and click finish. Make it extends file processor. Let's implement all its abstract method. For write file, I will print writing to a PDF file. Similarly, implement read file method. So friends, we have created two subclasses which has their own implementation for read and write file methods. Thus, we have implemented template method design pattern. Let's move ahead and create a Java main class to test it. Provide a name to it as template pattern test. Keep it in same package and click finish. In the main method, let's test working of this design pattern. Let's create a word file processor instance using new operator. Let's call process file method using word file processor instance. This is our template method. And we'll execute all the necessary operations in sequence. Let's run this Java main class. It prints opening the file. And ask us whether we want to write to file or not. Let's answer it as, why. Hit enter. As it's an instance of word file processor. It prints. Writing to a word file. Saving the file. And finally, closing the file. Let's move ahead and create a PDF file processor instance and perform same steps.
Let's run the Java class once again. Provide answer as, Y, and it displays same result as before. But below, it again asks for PDF file processor. If we provide answer as, N, and hit enter, it prints. Reading a PDF file. And finally, closing the file. Thus, you can see it performed all the steps in sequence. This is how template method design pattern works in Java. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, how to implement template method design pattern in Java, concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.